For the eclipse on Monday, there won't be totality here in the city, but you can expect about 90% of the sun to be in the moon's shadow. The best spots to be in for totality in our area are Niagara Falls and Rochester. And guess what? We're going to be in both spots. Lonnie Quinn helps us understand exactly what is an eclipse. Several things have to happen at the same time. Of course, it has to be new moon. That is, the moon has to be between the Earth and the sun in order for the moon to cast its shadow onto the Earth. Dr. Michael Shera is an astrophysicist at the American Museum of Natural History who makes it sound pretty simple, but there is a lot more to this heavenly phenomenon. What are the phases of a total eclipse? So there is uh, what we call first contact. That is when the moon first appears to touch the edge of the sun, then it starts to slide in front of it, and you see the sun get more and more and more covered, then have the sun just reaching the other edge, that's called second contact, then about four minutes later, the sun starts to slide off on the other edge, that's third contact, and then fourth contact, as astronomers define it, is when the moon totally leaves the sun. Totality is a very big deal. Only 1% of a generation will ever see it. Experts say it can be life-altering. The last time there was an Empire State total eclipse was nearly a century ago in 1925, and the next one, not until 2079. What is the diamond ring effect? Just as the moon is about to cover the sun, there's still a tiny piece of the sun, you know, 0.1 or 0.001 percent of the sun that's uncovered, so it's blazing bright, but a little bit of light is leaking through some of the valleys at the edge of the moon, and one blazing bright point. Looks a bit like a diamond ring. And right after that diamond ring, you'll see the corona, the glow around the eclipsed sun during totality. You can actually see the atmosphere of the sun. Expect about four minutes of totality in some areas, a little less in upstate New York, but what makes this eclipse all the more outstanding is the path. At over 2,000 miles per hour, it will race across 15 states from Texas to Maine in 96 minutes. More than 31 million people live along that path, and sure, Solar and lunar eclipses, they do happen with some regularity, but rarely where such a large population can see them and for this long. This eclipse is a gift. Just watch it and feel how incredibly lucky you are to be standing at this particular place at this particular time. A lot of life blurs together. The moments of totality do not blur together. They stand out in sharp relief to the rest of your life. That was Lonnie Quinn reporting. This is the first time New York is going to see totality since 1925, and it won't happen here again until 2079. And we are ready for the solar eclipse. Our Christine Johnson will be live from Niagara Falls. Lonnie Quinn will be live in Rochester, and we'll have a team of reporters across New York and New Jersey. You can watch our Empire State Eclipse live coverage on Monday starting at 2 p.m. right here on CBS News New York.